Welcome to the Vosic podcast number 5. We're going to continue talking about Vosic Station version 6. I'm going to show a bit more of some of the other aspects of Vosic Station. For instance, I'm going to show the multi preset chainer. Let me resize it a bit. So I have some multi presets here in the multi presets folder. I have one that's the complete groove. When I o open this multi preset, it's going to load three instances of music station, as you can see here on the left. One for drums groove, another for bass, arp, and another for a synth gate, and a multi mis message that appears here on top telling me the it's a multi preset with three layers the three layers here at the left and explaining where the key starts and stops so you can see we have divided three areas for this for this area let me close this message so here on the drums I have a drum groove here the drum groove and the drum groove is being triggered by the lower keys on my keyboard. You can see this happen here below, and the lowest key stops, this key here that you can see below. So the lowest C starts my patterns and the other keys change patterns as they go. So it's pretty easy to use this groove pattern. And the bass is in another layer. And I have set up starting on the low 37 and high 59. So it's pretty low. <laughs> to make all sound stop, I just start and stop the, the drums because when I stop the drums, which is on layer one, it sends MIDI information to all other layers to stop playing. So if I play two notes at the same time, let's say the low C to start the drum and the low, the, the previous G key, you can see here on the keyboard below, the keys I'm pressing. And it just release and it keeps playing. I change the pattern by hitting the D key and at the, at the top of my keyboard I have a synth gate sound but my computer may not play it very well if I play everything at once. Let me try everything at once. So it's very simple and is a complete complete groove. You can see the keyboard is divided in three areas by looking at the zones here on each layer. And I'm also using the sticky keys. The sticky keys is great. I'm using on all the last two layers because when you play a series of keys at the, the near time, it's going to stick those keys together until you press another key. That's it for this video. Bye-bye.